Hi guys, Trudy Carlson and Kevin here. And today we're taking you guys to the Des Moines Book Festival. So apparently the Des Moines Book Festival happens every year, but this is the first time that we're actually going to it. I've been seeing this on Facebook a lot and one of my coworkers, Kirsten, is an author and she is actually speaking on a panel today. That's reason number one what we hear. And then reason number two, it's just curiosity, right? We just want to find out. We just want to see what happens at the book fair. And we will take you with us. So come with us. Let's go find out. Romnita Watkins with her very recent book. And she is amazing, amazing. We got a chance to just have a sit down and talk a little bit about her book. Uh, what inspired me to write this book was the loss of my daughter. Um, she had epilepsy and um, she passed, she passed away at 24 years old. And so in writing that, you know, it was kind of like me writing a diary. It was me writing a journal to try to get an understanding of how I was feeling because I went through a, a very depression that nobody saw. And I found out later it's something that's out there but not talked about and it's like functional depressed. And uh, especially, you know, Functional depression is a person that can get up every day, live a daily life, be happy, do everything, cook, clean, and everything, but you don't see it, that they're depressed. And with me, it was very challenging because it took everything I had to get out of bed emotionally. It affected me mentally just to do those things and be functional. So. Oh, my goodness. And to turn something like that, you know what I mean? You had such a tough experience. Um, I know it's not easy. And I'm not speaking from experience, but I'm just speaking from, I don't think it's easy for a parent to bury their own child. Um, usually it's the other way around. So for you to have, to, go, to have gone through that experience and you were journaling through that journey and you ended up turning that and you even call this life after death, like life begins after death, meaning you're really giving a sign of hope. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, um, and what I mean by life begins after death, in, the, in society we tend to live every day with everything being important to us. You know, like the house being clean, uh, clothes being picked up, everything in alignment, you know, just everything has got to be perfect. You got to be everywhere at a certain time. You don't take the time like what they used to say, smell the roses. And so for me, after I lost my daughter, I realized I was just going through life, I wasn't living. And then it turned me to be more spiritual on how I do things, how I move, and just everything like that and what I thought. Like, you know, I have grown children, you know, they come to my house and they see their 13 year old siblings room messed up. They be like, mom, we couldn't even get up without having breakfast, without a we couldn't have breakfast before we uh, straighten up our room or had our bed straightened, you know? And it's like, I know, but for me, I'd rather have that moment sitting on the couch with one of my kids and just sitting there with them and being okay and be like, when it's time to clean up the room, I can go sit in their room while they clean up their room and watch their TV, you know, and motivate them like that. But it's just the little things oh my like God. that. That is, yes, that is so deep because, wow, like it's the entire world, like your own perception, your worldview changes. Mm -hmm. The things that you think you thought used to matter are just like, you know what, that can be... You don't need to clean your room, just come spend time with me. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And in and, and, and my head, like all of my kids, they say like we're very close to one another. And so they, to them, like I felt like I was very close to it. But you know, like when kids grow up, sometimes they tell you stuff they did as a kid and you didn't know nothing about. So at this point, I'm like, oh, I want to know everything. What are you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So, Romnita, if someone's watching right now and they're like, I got to get myself one of those books. How can they get a hold of you or how can they get a copy? They can get a copy off Amazon.com and then you can also download it for free on Kindle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a copy home with us because this is powerful and I absolutely love the way she's turned that deep, really, really difficult situation into something positive. Like I learned something today. I really learned something today that there's some things that we hold on so tightly like cleaning the room like it has to be a certain way that we really forget the things that truly matter in life and you just taught me that today wow i 
I am taking I my coffee. I still color coordinate my clo closet though. Oh, the closet's still I getting still, color coordinated. I still color coordinate my closet though. That I'm not giving. That, that that's the only thing that haven't changed, but everything else has. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So thank you so much for sharing your story. And uh, hey, please get yourself a copy and uh, let's all be a community of readers. And if you miss this Des Moines Book Festival this year, we will see you on our next one next year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and staying with us until this moment. We want to give a big, big, major shout out to the organizers, the volunteers, the authors, the vendors. I'm telling you, this event is spectacular. It's amazing. And if you missed it this year, don't feel bad. There's going to be another event just like this one, if not even better and bigger. The registrations will start opening up. So if you're an author and you want to come to the workshops or you want to do anything or you're a vendor, there's an opportunity to start um, applying in two months. So this was an amazing event. It was a great experience, um, not something that we do every day. And we are so glad that we were able to bring this content to you. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't sleep on the opportunity to push that subscribe button. You can find my work or our work at Conversational Lounge Network on Facebook and Conversations with Trudy on YouTube. Until next time, have a fabulous day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.